Hello YouTube, you're watching Denise Stars and today I'm going to talk to you a bit about hair loss and growth aids. Now hair loss is pretty self-explanatory and if you don't know what growth, growth aids are, they're things that you can basically use on your hair, you can use it on your scalp or they're like tablets you can take that are both basically supposed to make your hair grow faster or hair grow back if you've had hair loss. Um, a lot of people use them because they want their, their hair to grow faster and that's how I actually got interested in growth aids myself. I spoke to her about my mum as well and my mum, she's actually, um, well at the time she was suffering from um, quite bad hair loss so she was interested in it herself because she thought that hopefully some of these things could actually help regrow her hair. So. In the video I'm going to show you some before and after pics as well, I'll put them in there so you can actually see um, a journey of the different products that we tried together and how effective they were. So these will be pictures of my mum's hair, so you can see we don't have any right from the beginning because I never actually at the time intended to actually document it to show. So the first thing that we tried um, <laughs> is funny but a lot of people have tried it, a lot of people have admitted it to fit in on their hair on their heads and it is basically the um, cream that you can get, I can, you can probably tell where I'm going with this, <laughs> is the cream that you can get for if you have like a fungal infection down south, so it, it is basically um, cream for that, so if you have, we read online that loads of women were trying this cream, um, I can't even pronounce the name of it, so it's all in the description box anyway, so if you have a look at the description box you can see what we tried and when. So that was the first product that we tried. Um, it's true what people say, it does give you headaches, but other than that we didn't really find it that effective. Um, my mum didn't notice any hair growth. I didn't notice my hair getting like massively longer. The next thing we tried around a similar time was the Megatech, um, I think it's horse shampoo. So yeah, we did try some weird stuff, so <laughs> I'll, I'll warn you now. Um, a lot of people they use it, or I don't know if it's a horse shampoo or horse conditioner, they use it as a conditioner or as a shampoo. Now I wasn't doing that and um, my mum, she was pretty much like rubbing it like all over her hair and leave it as a leave. This is my mum's hair um, after we've been using the Megatech for I'd say about one or, or two months. As you can see it's still got kind of like the bald patches there but this is definitely better than it was but it wasn't really a uh, magical product so that was actually November 2011 um, when that picture was taken so it was doing a bit of good but I mean asking her now she says you know she, personally she didn't actually find it that beneficial so the next thing I decided to try was um, sulfur and I mixed it with um, castor oil now what I didn't like about this was the stink um, the sulfur it just smells like egg or like an eggy fart basically so I found myself putting in a lot of essential oils peppermint oil to try and disguise the smell because I felt like I was going into work and I was just stinking like an eggy fart basically which is not ideal if you're going to be in public so this next pic picture is of my mum it's February 2012, so it's about three months after the last one was taken, and that's from using the sulfur or the sulfur powder and the castor oil mix. So as you can see, um, a lot of the kind of ball patches have grown back. There is still some hair loss um, at the bottom of her hair, and also in the temples of her hair. Um, she found like those weren't growing either so that's the next picture now the next thing that I heard about was just using Jamaican black castor oil this next picture was I just took um, with my mum uh, last week and this is after using the Jamaican black castor oil and we haven't even been using it for that long maybe about a month so or maybe two months now so within those two months you can see that her the hair in her temples have started to grow back and then the last um, kind of ball patches in the back of her hair they're starting to fill out as well.
Now she herself says that the Jamaican black castor oil is the thing that's worked the best for her. She said it's worked the fastest and that is the stuff she's going to be using from now on. Now recently I've decided to take it on my own back to make a few tweaks to that because we were just using pure Jamaican black castor oil, nothing else. Now I read a couple of articles, because I do like um, stuff to come from a science background, I read a couple of articles on hair growth and the effects of essential oils on hair growth. So I'll post the references below. The first one is one that um, I actually I think a lot of people quite know about, and she quite a lot of people know about. And she's in a mixture of lavender oil, um, I think it's thyme essential oil, along with rosemary and also cedarwood. So I've included all of those essential oils other than thyme. Now the next article I found was looking at um, the rate of fur growth on rats that were shaved bald. But it basically found that um, Japanese cypress essential oil grew their fur faster. So I thought, yeah, I'm gonna give this a try. I'm keep you posted on how well those go. But I know that was probably a bit of a bumbled explanation of the different things that me and my mum have tried over the past um, year almost now to actually regrow her hair and to grow my hair longer. So you've seen the before and after pictures, check, check out the description box below for a summary of everything I've said and you know where you can get some of these products. So I hope you found this helpful but thank you very much for watching, bye!